my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I have a really fun review for you today that's a little bit different from what I normally do on my channel, but I am super, super excited for it because this has been something I've been wanting to try out for a while now. And that is this Active Wow Teeth Whitening Kit. And I've seen a lot of people use this and I've been really, really intrigued because I'm gonna be really real with you guys for a couple seconds here. I've always been very self-conscious of my teeth. Um, I, which is dumb, like it's such a weird thing to be self-conscious about, but, uh, but it's true. I have been very self-conscious about them since I was little because no matter how much as like a little kid, I would brush my teeth twice a day. I would floss almost every single day and you're supposed to floss every single day. And I would use Listerine all the time. Like I took really, really great care of my teeth when I was young and yet I would always go to the dentist and I would always have like two or more cavities and it was the weirdest thing for me. So I've just always had really, really bad teeth. And so they stain really easily. I get a lot of cavities. I also have really sensitive teeth. And so because of that, like I've just been really sensitive about my teeth, which is like a weird thing. I know they don't even look like terrible, but I've just always been like a little self-conscious about them. So when Active Wow reached out to me, I was super excited to try out the product. So I did get this product for free to leave a very honest review, you guys. I will never leave a not honest review because I just won't feel good about myself. So I'm gonna let you know everything I feel about this product, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. I also have this nice little light, I'm sure you can see in my glasses here, that is gonna help make it so that the lighting on my teeth doesn't change at all too. So that'll be great. But I just wanted to unbox this for you guys and then do my first initial tryout for you. It has so much information on this box, you guys, and I feel like I could read it all off for you, but I feel like that's just gonna take forever. So let's just go ahead and dive in. This is what the inside looks like. Premium kit step-by-step -step instructions. Good, because I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Oh, these are the things that I have to put in my mouth. So I have three little mouth trays. I don't know why I have three. That's such a weird number. Maybe it'll make sense later. Okay, now this is all the fun things right here. So we have syringes and they are full of something. So we'll find out about that later. You guys, I have no clue what I'm doing here. So I'm so sorry if I messed this all up. Okay, and this looks like, here it is, the little guy that you turn on and then it's supposed to whiten your teeth. So these are the toppers for the syringes. And then I'm guessing this guy here is just a case to put it all in afterwards. One thing I'll let you know right away is this is supposed to be very safe for your enamel. That's one thing they promise you. It's the only reason I'm doing a review on this one in particular. Because I have such sensitive teeth, I was very aware of it and my husband was as well. Active Wow 24K White Premium Teeth Whitening Kit is the undo button to save your teeth from years of stains caused by coffee, wine, and other foods you can't live without. With a few easy treatments, your smile will be so white you'll want to share it. Our kit delivers faster results than ever with light-activated technology. While our carb carbamide peroxide, I think that's how you say it, formula effectively deletes stains beneath the surface and is gentle on the enamel. I'll get you a close-up of my teeth and how weird they look. That looks so gross, I hate it. <laughs> okay, step one. We are going to heat up our mouth tray. Bring a cup of water to boil, remove from heat, and wait for 30 to 60 seconds. Dip a single mouth tray in the water until softened, about five to 10 seconds, and then you're gonna remove and allow any excess water to drip off the tray. Then immediately go to step two. Okay, so we're gonna read step two. Step two, form the tray in your mouth. Place the tray in your mouth and bite down. Use your fingers to press the tray firmly against your teeth. Pro tip, sucking air through your teeth will help the molding process, okay. Once satisfied with the shape, cut off the tab with the scissors. Trim around the gum line if necessary for best fit. Repeat steps one and two for the second tray for the other row of teeth. Okay guys, I'm just so nervous I'm gonna screw it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and heat up tray number one and come back and show you how easy or difficult this is. I'm so nervous. Ooh. Okay guys, here we go. Ah. It's so big. I'm very confused right now. It's not doing anything. I'm sure I look really funny though. I feel like I need to go stick it back in the water. I feel like 
I didn't do it right the first time because really the only thing that's happened is some of the teeth marks I've gotten. I mean, you guys can kind of see it. Try to. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I will say this is a lot trickier than you think it's going to be for sure. We're going to give it a shot. We'll see. The first thing that I did when I put it in is I focused too much on like forming it to my teeth and really what I should have focused on was biting it because I'm going to be honest with you guys, the like inner and outer or outer inner whatever did not change much. It just did it. But now I'm at least seeing the imprint of my teeth all the way around. So I would say when you're doing this, mostly focus on biting and like if you can press your teeth, go for it, but it really didn't change much for this part right here. But okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to do number two. Oh, that one worked out way nicer. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. No, I screwed it up. Ah, they should have sent me like five of them. I think you guys can see it right there. I accidentally folded over the edge. Shoot, because I wanted to redo my first one because I just don't feel that great about this first one. Oh, guys, that was so good otherwise. Look at this, look at this masterpiece besides the one part that I screwed up. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Here we go. Oh, so nervous, so nervous, so nervous. <laughs> I feel like overall, this one just turned out better than this one. So as you're putting it in the water, what I did for a boil is I got it to just the start of a rolling boil. So like when the bubbles are really starting to come up and then I took it off. I didn't even take it out of the pan that's on the stove. I just took it off the heat for like, I don't know, 30 seconds probably. And then I dumped it in for about five to seven seconds. And you are going to see it's going to go from this kind of like cloudy color to very clear and that's how you're gonna know you're good okay step three is apply whitening gel take a whitening gel syringe and twist the cap to open attach a precision tip by twisting it on apply a small drop of the gel onto a cotton swab and apply a thin even layer onto each visible tooth if you don't have a cotton swab apply directly to your teeth or tray avoid getting gel on your gums okay I'm gonna read through all the steps now because I feel like this is the point where I'm just gonna do it all at once. Step four, place formed trays in your mouth. Place both formed mouth trays over your teeth to keep the gel in place during treatment. Place LED light in your mouth. Remove the plastic film covering the battery from the LED light. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Turn on the light. Place the clear rim behind your lips, then turn it on. Avoid swallowing the gel, but a little is okay. Wait for 10 to 20 minutes. We suggest starting with shorter treatments to gauge your sensitivity level. Number six, rinse thoroughly with water. Remove the LED light and tray and rinse both your mouth and treatment trays thoroughly with water. Sensitivity may vary, so we recommend whitening treatment once every two to three days. Okay, so we're gonna do a drop on this cotton swab here. Ah, okay, is that a drop? It didn't really come out as a drop. Ooh, I don't know. Here we go, this is terrifying. I'm gonna use my mirror, but you should still be able to see me. I lost my light, so I'm letting it charge right now. I think I need to apply more. And Chari, I'm trying not to like have it touch, so I sound weird. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I have no idea. We're gonna go for it. Mm-hmm. So besides my light cutting out, I think we have another problem <laughs> because this light isn't working. It's like not turning on and I don't see whatever paper they were talking about taking out. JK, okay, you guys, I think I found the paper that they were talking about. It's in a very weird location, I might add. Um, so that is definitely something I would change. But I took the batteries out because I was gonna show them to my husband and take a picture, show them to him and say, hey, pick them up. And this came out. But the thing is, is that, so it was on the bottom of the battery. So here's the top, took it off, and I wasn't finding any paper even when I did that because I needed to take both out in order to see that. So let's see if it works now. Oy vey, I'm, I'm just struggling hardcore right now. Okay, moment of truth. Yay, we did it. Okay, so now I'm gonna redo all of that. One thing I will say also, I just think their directions are very confusing. What's a drop? Like, and do I do a drop per tooth? Do I, is it supposed to make it all the way around? Or like, I, I don't fully understand. So I'm just worried I'm gonna put too much on and that's gonna hurt my teeth. So uh, that's one thing I will definitely say is right now it's kind of confusing 
how much I'm supposed to put on of that gel. So I'm going to do what I did earlier, which was I think considered a few drops, but I just felt like I was running out and I wasn't putting anything anywhere. So let's try this again. Also, I'm a really spitty person and there's so much spit and I don't know how you are not going to spit. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Try to. Here we go. We got this. Okay guys, first time is all finished and not gonna lie because I have a smaller mouth and my mouth hurts a little bit and I only did it for the 10 minutes. So if you are someone like me that you have a smaller mouth, this is a little bit more difficult. Definitely what I'm planning on doing next time is cutting off some of this because it did start to hurt towards the back on the bottom side. So I think I should have trimmed those a little bit. So I'm definitely going to do that next time. You don't really feel much as it's happening. You know, you're just kind of sitting there, do your own thing, throw in a dance party, whatever it might be. Um, towards the end though, because I do have sensitive teeth, I did start to feel a little bit of, I don't even know if pain's right. Like, uh, a sensation, I will say, on the spots where I know my teeth are a little bit more sensitive. So that's something I will say as well. So I'm glad I started out with the 10 minutes. Also, I do not think my mouth at this time could do the full 20. I think it's kind of like uh, coconut pulling. Like you got to start out small when you start because your mouth isn't used to doing things like that. But okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to get closer and we're going to see if it changed at all. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really suck at this. So I don't even know it had changed. But that's what it looks like. I feel like it looks a little lighter, but I don't know. It's it's hard. I'm really bad at stuff like that. And it's also been after one try, so I think it'll be really interesting to see how much it changes. And maybe what I'll do is I'll go put it on my computer really quick and come back afterwards once I can actually see the difference and tell you because I haven't changed anything. Lighting is exactly the same. Already there are a few things that I would love to change about it. One would be is I would love to get four of those like little teeth guys. Here's the thing. The first one, I get why they sent you three. The first one, you're just learning about it. You might screw it up. So they give you an extra one. But here's the thing. What if you're a ditz like me and you accidentally screw up the second one? <laughs> what are you going to do then? So uh, I just wish they would have sent four. I also just feel like directions are a little confusing. Um, be just because I don't know how much of the whitening solution I'm supposed to use. Like, did I use too much? Did I not use enough at all? And there's no like clarifying or example. Oh, also random fact, there's a frequently asked questions thing. Oh, I done screwed up everything. They literally answered all the things I'm complaining about. So the tray isn't forming properly. What can I do? If you're having difficulty the first time you try to mold the tray, the heating process can be repeated to get the desired result. So I don't get why they sent three then. I still don't understand that. How much do I put on the cotton swab? A small drop on each tooth is more than enough. See, why don't they just explain it that way the first time? Just say, it was very confusing the first way they did it. The LED light doesn't work. Make sure you remove the plastic disc from the battery on the back of the light. To open, turn the knob on the back from the light to open position and pull. Remove the batteries. There's a plastic disc underneath that should be removed. Once that is taken out, you can place the batteries back in the plus side facing up. Hmm. But those three things, I feel like could have been mentioned in this little part right here. So I don't, I don't know. For me personally, I would just take all of this and put it in here because I'm not gonna read this my first time through. I don't know many people who do. You probably should, but I don't know how many people do. So, okay, this is what I'll say then before I go look at my teeth is I definitely didn't do a drop on each tooth. I did do like a heavy drop for each, like for the top and the bottom and the majority of it got on um, my very front teeth. Oh, something else I might add is, so I have a little bit of an overbite, as you can see. Okay, so I would definitely recommend, because I feel like for half of it, I wasn't even letting it whiten the upper part of my bottom teeth because I was overbiting. 
which I didn't think about. So if you're someone like me, you have an over and under bite, what I would do is, and, and maybe this doesn't matter, but I feel like it does. Uh, what I would recommend doing is as you're forming the trays, I let the overbite happen. What I would recommend is doing this, which I didn't think about when I did it. So I honestly, the next time I do this, might reform the trays. I'm going to go, I'm going to look and see on my computer if I notice any difference, and then I'll tell you my final thoughts about this guy. Okay, guys, I just went and looked on my computer to see if I could notice anything, and I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really notice any difference. I am putting them on screen right now, so you can let me know what you think as well, and I will label before and after. Um, but I wasn't noticing too much of a difference. However, I don't think I also applied enough. I feel kind of bad because I'm not really giving this like its full try, but at the same time, you know, the directions were in a way very confusing. And I feel like the frequently asked questions answered everything that could have just been in the initial instructions. But with that said, I know exactly what to do next time around. So uh, I think what I'm going to do for you guys, just because I feel bad, because I feel like I haven't fully given this a shot to really try it out, um, I'm going to come back with another video probably a while from now, probably next month sometime, where I am trying it out, and I'll probably do like seven tries of it, doing the two to three days in between, and let you see the before and after. And I'll do something like this where the lighting is very basic, so you can kind of see exactly how different or similar it is. But overall, I'm very excited to use it. I, I don't want you to think that somehow I don't like the product, just because I'm I'm very... Uh, very much dissing the instructions, I guess you could say. So hopefully, you know, for those of you who maybe you just got yours or maybe you're planning on getting this for someone for Christmas, you'll have some recommendations that you can tell them or some advice that you can share with them as they are trying it out for the first time or as you are trying it out for your first time. Or if you tried it and you were just as confused as I was, hopefully this answered some of your questions. So I definitely think there are some things that could definitely improve the process with this product. However, I'm still very, very much excited to use it. I'm excited to see how repeated use changes everything. I do think like this was fairly affordable, you guys. Because for everything you saw that I unboxed, it's only $40, which I don't think is that bad. So if you're still trying to find some of those last minute Christmas gifts that you can hand out this year, I would definitely recommend checking out this guy. I'm going to leave a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you want to help out my channel in a way and you want to get that last minute Christmas gift, and this seems like something that someone in your life would enjoy, whether it's gifting it for yourself or for someone else you love, I definitely think this would be such an easy and simple and fun gift that you can give someone. Just make sure that uh, you go through the instructions with them because that's the one thing I will say. If I if I was going to change anything about this, I feel like I would change the instructions. But as for someone who does have sensitive teeth, like I have to use sensitive toothpaste, you guys, um, I will say like doing the 10 minutes, there was never a moment of like pain or itchiness or anything weird like that. You know, I, I think just like there was a slight feeling of something happening like right here where I just have a very sensitive spot in my teeth. And so like that that's kind of about it. Outside of that, like everything felt completely fine outside of my mouth just having a lot of stuff in it. Even though I didn't notice a difference on screen between the two of them, I am looking at my teeth right now and this is not like a huge difference. I'm not trying to like make it seem like this crazy thing happened after the first use. Very much not the case. Um, but they just like, I feel like they have less gunk on them if that makes sense. But I'm just looking at my teeth and I'm like, I definitely feel like they look nicer in a way. But it's not because the color changed at all. It's not because they got whiter. I think they just look, they look cleaner, maybe shinier is what I'm trying to say. On the spots where I didn't apply any of it, when I run over that with my tongue and then I run over like my front teeth where it got most of the stuff, I am noticing the slightest texture difference. And by that, I mean it's very minimum. And my husband did just come home and he did, his initial reaction was he thought my teeth were whiter. And then I showed him the side by side and he's like, weird, they look the same. Yeah, overall, I'm really, really excited to try it again. I'm excited to give you guys an update video of where it goes from now till like seven days of use. But that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed getting to see me squirm a little bit and feel uncomfortable and awkward because I don't know what I'm doing. Hashtag happens all the time. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all my future content. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.